Hi, I'm Jay with Oakwood Veneer. In this segment, we're gonna talk a bit about substrates and how they're used in veneering. Ideally speaking, the substrate refers to specifically the material that you're going to be applying the veneer to. And the most common substrates that are used in veneering are MDF, which I have in front of me here, also particle board, uh, very little difference between the two with the exception of weight. One is much, much heavier than the other. Then you have plywoods, and generally speaking, when you're going to use a plywood, you want to make sure that it is a veneer core type plywood versus a construction grade type plywood and has a very, very smooth uh, face that you're going to be veneering over. Any imperfections that are in the surface need to be filled and fared out and sanded to make sure that the, the surface is entirely smooth because when you veneer over it, any wave or distortion in the panel is going to telegraph through. So when you put your finish onto your veneer, if you have a wavy surface below, it's going to be a wavy surface above. And when, when you have a higher gloss type finish, that's really, really going to show. Another substrate that's used in veneering is what's called bendable plywood. And bendable plywood is basically a cord material. It'll have a heavy core on both faces, relatively smooth surface on one side, and a very open porous on the other side. And this is used if you're going to make a counter front or a curved surface where you need something that, has, that you can form a radius in. And this actually takes a little bit of a special application technique to use. But for our intent and purpose, we're going to be talking specifically about MDF and the benefits of MDF. MDF is an extremely flat surface and very, very stable. Uh, depending on thicknesses, you can get anything from an eighth inch up to three quarter and one inch, inch and a half, depending on if you're building, a, say, a large conference table or you're going to build uh, shelving units and things like that where you want some stability. 